Hey, what's up? This is Mikey for Electrek, and on an uncharacteristically cold and windy Las Vegas day, we are checking out the U.S. facility for Unero. Let's go check it out. Unero has been here in the USA for six years, if you can believe it. At one point, it was a small corner of a warehouse, pretty much a glorified version of a garage business. But now the USA operation has grown significantly. Under the hood, most bike companies import their bikes from China. That shouldn't be a surprise at this point. With direct importers, it can be a mixed bag. Some of them really don't care what happens after the product is bought online, and some of them, like Unero, are investing in shipping and service for the end user. This warehouse stocks up on the entire line of bikes, from their dual motor fat tire Monster that we've covered earlier, and also trikes, tall scooters, and plenty of folding bikes packed pretty tight. With all of these bikes ready to rock, it makes it super easy to grab a bike for the riding season, even if you didn't pre-order one year in advance, like some companies have been forced to do. For Unero, their current line, you can get it riding pretty much right away. If, on the other hand, you're looking at a future model, then yeah, you're gonna have to wait for that. With the scale of bikes that Unero is doing, they can usually get orders to customers in about five to seven days. I can't comment too much on their OSHA compliance, but I do know that they act fast. Past the shop dog and a set of stairs is where the battery assembly is taking place. This actually isn't for the Unero bike batteries, it's something else. The space is not only a shipping hub to get orders out within a week across the USA, it's also used for service needs as well. Next door, or rather in the same building, is a full service bike shop and a battery repair shop that operates independently. The bike shop works on e-bikes of various kinds all day long, and the battery repair center, likewise, does all kinds of batteries from soup to nuts. On the horizon, Unero hopes to build a full service center of their own with an emphasis on electronic repair. They say they have a low rate of return, which they also handle here in Vegas, but they hope to eliminate returns altogether, not to close the option, but to ensure a 100% satisfaction rate. Of course, that's a pretty optimistic goal, I've ridden Unero bikes many times, and my synopsis of the company is pretty straightforward. If you want a bargain version of many popular bikes, then you're in the right place. In the last couple of years, Unero has taken a big leap in their bike design, going from a fairly modest importer into something of a new class. It's interesting to see the transformation over time, and I'm excited to see where they go from here. My favorite part about the tour was all the bikes. Unero has a fresh set of their current lineup ready to ride, and they offer this for you if you want to come by. But for me, I really wanted to try out the panoply of prototypes. Yes, there were actually a handful of bikes with a strange mix of uses, color, components, and even motors that I got to try out. This one with a rear seat, direct drive motor, and cruiser styling, I really think this would sell. I don't know if it would be my personal favorite, but I think it would be very popular. Also, this M600 motor on a hybrid bike really took me back to the old days. It was a lot of fun too. Oh yeah, and this pink fat tire 1000 watt tank. I'm surprised I don't see more of these out there. I didn't have time for the trailers, but if I did, I'd totally film it. <laughs> you can probably tell that I could go on and on, but what's really important are the people. Unero isn't a terribly large company in all reality, at the warehouse, you have a few people who are wearing a lot of hats and serving the end user with surprising efficiency. If you'd like to come down to Las Vegas to give them a shot, you can call up their office and see if you can make an appointment. I had a lot of fun visiting Unero, and I'm glad I got to share this with you. All right, big thanks to Unero for letting us come tour their facility. Be sure to click like and subscribe so you don't miss out on the latest EV news and reviews. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.